Hello and welcome everyone to another Power BI video. I'm Sumit from Night Software Solutions and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple visual in Power BI Desktop that contains a dynamic axis. For this video, I'm using a simple data set that shows the actual and forecasted values of revenue and profit for different product subcategories. I've created a simple report using Power BI Desktop already that contains a clustered column chart that shows the revenue generated by each product category. I've created a slicer panel on the left-hand side that has got two slicers in it. One showing the list of dimensions, that's product category and subcategory, and the other one shows the list of measures that I've got in the dataset. Now here's the interesting part. When I select the dimension name from the first slicer, the values of the selected dimension gets plotted on the horizontal axis of the visual. Similarly, when I select a measure name from the second slicer, the selected measure gets plotted on the vertical axis of the visual. This makes the visual a lot more dynamic and interactive than what it is usually. So let's see how to build this stuff. Let me open a new Power BI report and import some data into it. I'll use the same Excel sheet that was used in the report I just showed you. There are a couple of worksheets in the file. I'll just take the one that has some detailed information in it. Once the data is imported, navigate to the Home menu and click on Edit Queries. In the Edit Query screen, right-click on the table called Category Sales Report and choose Duplicate. This should create another table in the model. Let me just rename the new table as Duplicate Table. Navigate to the Duplicate Table, then grab the Category and Subcategory column headers, right-click and choose the option that says Unpivot Only Selected Columns. After unpivoting the columns, you should see two new columns created in the table called Attribute and Values. Always remember, when you unpivot a table, the column headers are replaced as row values. This multiplies the number of rows in the table. See the number of rows I had in my original table as compared to the duplicate table. So, if you're dealing with a large fat table, always consider this point before unpivoting it. Now let's click on Close and Apply and wait for the model to get updated. Once the model is updated, navigate to the model view and ensure that a relationship is established between these two tables. Now Power BI automatically detects relationship whenever it finds out common columns in different tables. So in this case, I don't need to do anything here. The next thing I'd like to do is to create the measures that we want to plot on the visual. I'll navigate to the data view first and then create a simple revenue measure by applying the SUM function on the revenue column. Similarly, I'll create a profit measure by using the SUM function on the profit column. And then in the same way, I'll create revenue forecast measure and the profit forecast measures as well. Please note, I'm creating all these measures in the original category sales report table. Once the measures are in place, navigate to the report view and create a new clustered column chart. Place the value column from the duplicate table on the axis drop box and the revenue measure from the category sales report table on the value drop box. Now create a new slicer and place the attribute column on it. Now, selecting a dimension name from the slicer should dynamically plot the values of the selected dimension on the horizontal axis of the chart. This completes the first part of the job. Now, we still need to create another slicer with the measure values in it. To do this, first we need to create a new table with the measure names in it. Then, we'll place the measure names from the new table onto the new slicer. Now, to create a new table in the model manually, Go to the Home menu and then click on Enter Data. On the Create Table screen, double-click on the column header and name it as Measure List. Similarly, double-click on each cell in the Measure List column and then enter the measure names you want to show on the slicer. Name the table as My Measures and then click on Load to load the new manually entered table into the model. Now create a new slicer and then place the Measure List column on it. This would show all the measure names in the new slicer. 
Please note at this stage, selecting a value from the new slicer would not have any impact on the chart yet. To dynamically plot measures on the chart, I'll have to create one final measure. To do this, first I'll navigate to the data view and then create a dynamic measure that checks the selected value of the measure list column and accordingly returns one of the four measures that we created earlier. Have a look at this DAX function carefully. When the selected value of the measure list column is revenue, it returns revenue measure. Similarly, for selected value profit, it returns the profit measure and then so on. Now navigate back to the report view and place this dynamic measure on the clustered column chart. You can remove the other measure you had placed on it earlier. Now selecting a value from the measure slicer would dynamically plot the selected measure on the vertical axis of the chart. As you might have noticed, the measure values of all the dimensions are appearing to be the same. This is because in the background the system is doing a Cartesian join while fetching the report data. To stop this from happening, navigate to the model view, edit the relationship that's appearing between these two tables and then set the cross filter direction to both. Click on OK to save the changes. Now navigate back to the report view and you'll see that the aggregation is now happening perfectly. So this is how you can create a visual with a dynamic axis controlled by the slicer selections. For any further queries, please reach out to us on the contact details flashing on your screen right now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.